What's going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Welcome to another episode of NFT Alpha. Let's see what's going on around the NFT world. I'm your host, Taco. Let's get it. All right. If you are not already following us on YouTube at NFT Alpha, and then head over to Twitter and give us a follow there too, at NFT Alpha Show. And follow me, your host, Taco, crypto underscore taco zero one. All righty. Heading over to Crypto Slam. I see two on the top 24 hour volume list that I don't recognize. Infinity Space NFT Special Spacecraft and whatever this is. If you want to look up these and figure out what they are, be my guest because um, we're not going to go over that in this video. But then as you can see, we got a couple board apes over 100K in uh, sales over the last day. Uh, that's normal, that's typical. Metaverse, remember that word from uh, 2020? NFT investor Animoca Brands cuts target for Metaverse fund to 800 million. So they did have 2 billion and then they, it was cut in half to 1 billion and now they shaved another 20% off of that. Now they're at 800 million. If you don't know what the Metaverse is, it's a term for a virtual world where the internet exists as an immersive space that can be used for work, play, socializing, experiences, and events. Remember the Fortnite Travis, Travis Scott uh, concert? That's considered the metaverse. And uh, that was super cool, I was there. You had to be there, you had to be there. This really isn't a good uh, article for Animoca and uh, they didn't even want to comment to Coindesk. But that doesn't stop the buyers, metaverse, NFT trading volume hit new all-time high, Dapper Radar says. Virtual land trading spiked this past quarter with 147,000 trades generating $311 million in trading volume. This was thanks to uh, platforms such as Yuga Labs, who has the other side land, which uh, they had their second trip tomorrow, and MG Land, which Wash traded their way up to uh, the top of the list. So like I said, other deed NFTs, which are linked to the land and the other side of metaverse, registered 222 million in trading volume in the first quarter and a 237% increase from the previous quarter. According to the report, one other deed NFT sold for 186 Ethereum, which is $2.8 million at the time, the highest recorded sale for virtual land last quarter. Earlier this month, Yuga Lab announced their official date of its second trip for holders of the other deed, NFTs, which likely contributed to the uptick, which I said this is going to be tomorrow. Another reason for the increase in trading volume is due to the NFT marketplace is blur. I know we've gone over the blur uh, marketplace over the last few videos. It's airdrop season and everyone's farming for those blur token. And um, I'm not because I don't want to lose Ethereum. I value Ethereum more than I value this blur token and I value my NFTs more than I value trying to flip for a profit when I hear all of these whales down money. And um, maybe they'll be able to offset it from the blur season two airdrop but I don't think so. I'm going to be on the outside looking in, maybe cheering them on. Yeah, flip those NFTs, crash the market. Yeah. Another collection associated with Yuga Labs ecosystem is 10KTF. And this person said everything related to 10KTF are the highest NFT collections traded this quarter. So uh, you might be wondering what the heck that is. So let's head over to their OpenSea page. And as you can see, you are greeted with a friendly uh, grandpa. They took a page out of Nike and Artifact and they have virtual clothes that you can redeem for the physical version. Very unique designs. I see that's uh, a kennel. It's a board ape kennel club. Have you ever seen a sweatshirt like this out in the wild of the world? I haven't. But uh, if I did, I'd definitely do a double take because this sh looks sweet. As you can see, I'm wearing a JPEG Junkie sweatshirt and we'll, we're gonna go over JPEG Junkies uh, later in the video, so stay tuned. In other news, Cardano price prediction. ADA takes off as NFT and decentralized applications show traction. $1 ADA incoming? I would love that. Surge of activity in Cardano ecosystem. Amid the project's news, there has been a surge of interest and volume in the Cardano ecosystem over the past week. 
decentralized application volume has seen a significant uptick with ADA-based wing riders, decentralized exchange seeing almost a 95% increase in UAWs, which are unique active wallets, just in the past 24 hours. Another popular Cardano uh, DEX, MinSwap, has seen a 28% increase in UAWs in the past 24 hours as well. The surge of activity has driven impressive total value lock with Cardano's ecosystem TVL now at 133 million. It went up 10% in just the last uh, 24 hours. You can say that this project helped with that. Don't know if it was wash trading, don't know if it was legitimate trades, but Twitter definitely had a lot to say about this Bored Ape Cardano Club project. People do not like derivatives and Cardano is a chain where a lot of people are very passionate about their JPEGs, their NFTs. And when a blatant derivative, obviously this is from the Board Ape Yacht Club, comes over to Cardano, uh, the natives, uh, they'll make their voices heard. I don't really have too much to say about it. I went over it in a, maybe three or four videos ago when it was minting. I said I was going to avoid it. The second collection uh, making waves is Her Monsters, Main Monster Militia, which accounted for almost 24% of the trading volume on Cardano NFTs in the past 24 hours. If you wanna get a sense for what the rarest ones look like, let's go from high to low. Holy mackerel, look at this girl. It's got a 0.02% trait, another 0.0. Yeah, this one is probably a one of one if I were to guess. And uh, good luck getting $28,000 for it. I don't think that's gonna happen. All right, now for the JPEG junkies. So there are 6,000 JPEG junkies and me and DZ just finished all 6,000 catchphrases. Every single one is gonna be unique. And we uh, we already put out a little teaser of 1,000 of them. And here's one of them. Next time I see the dentist, I'm gonna kick him in his teeth. So every single one is gonna have their own little story catchphrase. I thought that's really cool, very unique. I haven't seen any projects doing that. So uh, be on the lookout for uh, your updated metadata. And last but not least, I wanted to, I wanted to see how old Fettuccini was doing. And I read this tweet the other day. I just completed the craziest trade I think I've ever done. I bet on Cardano NFTs. I traded my Mutant Ape Yacht Club for everything in this wallet. And I'll show you in a second. Let's see if I can profit. So this is going for about $21,700. And he said everything is going to be listed on Plutus.art, which is his marketplace. And if you want to follow his journey, be my guest, I will leave his uh, Twitter handle in the description. So let's go to the wallet. Let's see what he traded for a Mutant Ape Yacht Club. All right, so it looks like he's got six Space Buds so far. And uh, they just had their little wormhole the other day. I know DZ did his little upgrade. That was, it was pretty cool. Very smooth experience. I was watching him. All right, uh, don't know that one. He's got 35 Clay Nation lands. This one kind of looks familiar. I think uh, that artist is a, a famous artist. I've seen this one, Handies, I think they're called. Yep, Handies, okay. Looks like he got a lot of, however you pronounce this project, it's a horse racing game, but now they have, it looks like jockeys and, Old guys, oh, you can get old person. Don't get me wrong, I'm not fudding his NFTs. I mean, you just gotta take it for what it is. I mean, he has a few old guys and he also has got a skater dude. All right, cool, cool. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you think this was a good trade. I'm gonna go out of my way and say, no, it was not. Sorry, Fettuccini. Uh, but yeah, that's all I got. Sorry, this video was kind of all over the place. That's all I got though. And uh, happy Friday, be blessed, and taco out.